Hi, so in this video, I'm going to try and show uh, an interesting different way that we figured out how to create a bulk user invite feature. Uh, if you like this video, please do thumbs up. Uh, it really helps. It. it really helps the channel. All right. So uh, here's how it's going to look like a bulk invite. We can put instead of like, you know, adding a CSV uploader, which we do a lot as well. Uh, what if we wanted to uh, have the user just type it out? Uh, or parse it in whatever spreadsheet they want because usually what happens with the CSV upload that we found is that the format they get the format wrong very quickly uh, they always have a spreadsheet and they want the format to mirror that it it, it's, it causes friction uh, even if we provide a helpful template even if we link the template up there but this format is like okay the placeholder tells us this is the format it, that's the thing it does so how does this work if I click bulk in white uh, it they're gonna slowly start adding uh, in the back end. So example, example two, example three, example four. All right. So how does this multi-line input work? Uh, we open the pop-up multi-line input, the format, you have to respect the format a lot. Uh, you can always add conditionals to have some error checking if you want here. Uh, but essentially it's schedule API workflow on a list. Okay. So we push this to the back end and the list is uh, te text actually. And we pass the whole line. So the backend gets one line at a time. So we just use multi-line input list of users, which is that multi-line input. And uh, we split by, now you don't see anything, but that's because there is an enter key here. Okay, so basically I just pressed enter, which is basically splitting the whole new line, uh, splitting uh, line by line, because we have new lines here. Uh, yeah, so it's splitting every line at a time. And uh, you just pass the whole line as a whole to the backend. And what the backend workflow does is just process it line by line. So we take the past line and now we have to split it based on the comma. Uh, so first we split it based on line by line. Now we have one line, we have to split it based on this comma here. Okay, so create an account for someone else. We know if we split by comma, the first item is the email, okay? uh the second item is the role okay now with roles because it's an option set user admin there's a little bit of a difference uh we split uh, make changes to user role user if you split by line item two so split by comma item number two so split by comma is item number two and what happens is that split by comma is item number two with that space so when we use trim we make it user only because we're not interested in the white space okay and comma users display and if you don't you can, this will still work without the space as well uh so because it's trimmed will respect that uh, i already have these users now so i'm gonna add a prefix here uh but yeah trimmed will respect that so depending on role admin now you can extend this to multiple like you can have like a uh, first name last name uh email not a profile picture potentially if you've got profile pictures with urls publicly you can even add the url of the public profile picture here uh and then just basically split the whole line pass it to the back end in the back end you kind of process the whole line by line and you can do uh assign a temp password uh to the user uh result of step one and then you can just send it as an email as well send the temporary password as an email as well that oh, welcome your username is x well that's the first uh item and your username your passwords your password is a uh, result of step four so that's their temporary password so overall interesting little feature we uh, personally I, I prefer to avoid the bulk upload uh, feature in general csv template bulk upload uh, it has its own set of problems this one we found for a quick implementation and for a quick uh, it's it's the clients are okay with understanding ah okay so i just i prep my spreadsheet in whatever manner and i just copy and paste it here because they can literally copy and paste it here scroll through it looks fine okay bulk and white uh, of course a little bit of error handling will help as well uh, in case the line isn't c formatted correctly or something's wrong uh, the error handling can be added 
thank you very much for watching uh if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel if you didn't like it please do subscribe anyways uh drop a link comment below if you found this useful or if you have some other different way of uh, making such a bulk in white feature thanks bye